From the yard in historic Annapolis, Maryland, this is the Navy Sports Rundown, presented by Lidos. Navy football will wear its new silent service uniforms for the Army-Navy game on December 9, presented by USAA. The Eclipse blue uniforms are meant to honor the U.S. submarine force, its families, and its personnel. The uniform reveal and player reaction is on NavySports.com and the YouTube page. As usual, Under Armour outfitted the MIDS custom threads for this collaboration. The MIDS will remember 2023 as a year of progress. They've won five games for the first time in four years. Here's the thing. They can clinch bowl eligibility, another huge step forward, when they visit SMU on Saturday. The Mustangs are undefeated in conference play, giving up the fewest points to league opponents among AAC teams, and they're scoring a league-best 44 points per game in those contests. Navy's defense, which recorded its third shutout of the year against ECU on Saturday, has its work cut out for it. They've always been pretty darn good on offense, and, and the defense is caught up, and they're, they're playing complimentary football. They run the football effectively, very effectively offensively, and then they'll, they'll throw it over your head. If you get enough guys in the box, they're going to be up for the game. And uh, so we're, we're going to have to play dang near perfect and uh, have a chance to win. Navy wrestling finished second in the annual Navy Classic. Freshman Danny Wask in the 174 class and Grady Grease at 285 held their opponents scoreless in the finals to lift the number 19 midshipmen to their best finish at the event since 2017. Five Navy wrestlers competed in the finals. Wask is the first plebe to win a title for Navy since Joe Locksmith did so in the 141 weight class in 2010. Women's basketball looks to get back to its winning ways with three games this week. The Mids have a Tuesday tilt versus Binghamton, then host their own Navy Classic Saturday and Sunday. Navy will play Quinnipiac Saturday and Abilene Christian Sunday, both of those 1 p.m. tips. Towson is also in town playing ACU on Saturday and Quinnipiac on Sunday right after the Navy games. Water Polo finished its season in the MAWPC title game, falling to number 15 Fordham 12-10. The Mids won two tournament games in Lewisburg to get there, Friday over Hopkins and Saturday against the host Bucknell. Kiefer Black scored four goals against the Rams and earned Rookie of the Tournament honors, while Caden Capabianco and Aiden Day made first team all tourney. Junior distance runner Murphy Smith ran on the national stage, finishing 105 of 236 in the NCAA Cross Country Championship. Smith started in 145th at the 1K checkpoint, eventually gaining ground in 40 spots to finish the 10K at 30 minutes, 35 seconds. Last week, he finished third in the regional qualifying meet. Do you like women's hoops? We do. And that's all we got here on the yard uh, through Thanksgiving weekend with the holidays coming up. The women play Tuesday and then Saturday and Sunday in their own Navy Classic. Men's basketball still searching for its first win of the season. They are out on the West Coast playing San Diego, 10 o'clock Eastern tip time. That'll do it for this week. Go Navy, beat Army, beat SMU, and happy Thanksgiving.